Hi everyone, welcome to this month's financial market update. I'm Piers Bolger, Chief Investment Officer for Viridian Financial Group. Well, after what was a very challenging uh, month of October, November has proven to be not as um, significantly negative from a return perspective, albeit that we continue to see quite a high level of market volatility through the course of the month. What have been the driving factors of that? Well, first and foremost, um, the trade tariff war that we're seeing between China and the US is certainly showing no signs of abating. Even though we expect both uh, President Trump and President Xi to meet um, at the G20 at the end of this month, we don't expect that there'll be anything concrete coming out of that. The US have also potentially reaffirmed that the additional $200 billion worth of um, tariffs are likely to be put in place early in the new year. So there are clearly challenges on the trade front which is permeating into financial markets and that's clearly been reflected in terms of the overall volatility that we've seen, not only through October but certainly into November. So that's something from our perspective as we spoke about last month about positioning, we spoke about taking some of the risk out of our portfolios, that's certainly very much in play. When we look at what's occurring in Europe, we've seen the Brexit deal, um, at least from a, an EU and UK perspective, um, come to fruition. Whether or not that'll get through the UK Parliament remains to be seen. Certainly Theresa May looks like she's got a, a work cut out in regards to that um, and how that will play out for the UK economy, how that will play out in terms of financial markets again is something that we really won't start to see until some stage into, into 2019. On the continent side of things we've seen the um, fiscal challenges um, in Italy particularly um, come to the fore through the course of, of this month and we've seen Italian bond yields rise quite dramatically over the course of the month. So why is the rise in Italian bond yields having an impact in regards to the performance of financial markets? Why is the likelihood of another Fed rate rise of a quarter of 1% in our view likely to have an impact on financial markets? And why are we likely to see the ongoing trade dispute between the US and China have an impact on financial markets? These are all causing a level of uncertainty and nervousness. And it's ultimately flowing through in terms of financial market performance. So when we think about investing, when we think about positioning portfolios, it's about trying to take some of those elements and take some of that risk associated with those elements out of the portfolio framework as best we can. Understanding though, where the opportunities lie as we head into the back end of this year and ultimately into 2019. So the balance from our perspective is still very much built around taking some of that risk out, managing that risk, identifying the risks that we believe are particularly important in terms of delivering on investment returns over the next little while, equally through that medium term profile. As always, if you've got any concerns or queries regarding your particular situation or your portfolio, please feel free to contact your advisor. Thanks and uh, we'll catch up with you next month. Bye for now.